This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. Car crashes are the leading cause of death for teens in the U.S. and teen crash Teen crash at, teens crash at three times the rate of more experienced drivers, and most of the time they are not wearing a seatbelt. We all know that wearing our seatbelt is the law, but it doesn't mean everybody follows that law. And this morning we have Sergeant Brent Burnhart with the Missouri State Highway Patrol to tell us just how important it is to wear our seatbelts. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing excellent. Thanks for having me. So go ahead. I read an article, an interesting article that you guys actually released earlier in the summertime is that the summertime is the most dangerous time for teen drivers. Why is that? It is. A lot, a lot of the, our teenagers obviously are out of school, mm -hmm. uh, so they've got a lot of time on their hands. And we know that many of the activities that they're going to be participating in obviously are going to surround being in a motor vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly this is a time when they drive more, the bigger chance that they have of being in a traffic crash. And one of the things that's really uh, important for all of our viewers to know is, is that last year in the state of Missouri we had 757 people that were killed in traffic crashes, which was uh, one of the lowest traffic uh, fatality counts in our state since the 1940s which sounds pretty good, although 63% of all those people that died last year Missouri Highways uh, did not have a seat belt on. Seat belt law has been in effect for a long, long time, back mm -hmm. in the 80s when we uh, Missouri passed that law, uh, but we're still having a little bit of difficulty getting some people to wear those seat belts. We know they work. They're very effective. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about this seat belt condenser that you have. You actually take this to schools for demonstration. So tell us more about what this is. We have two different uh, simulators that we use. One is a rollover that we take uh, to elementary schools, which actually has dummies in it. And we show the students uh, the effects of wearing a seat belt or not wearing a seat belt when we spin it. But this one is kind of fun because it's for people that are 15 years of age and older. Uh, they actually hop up in this thing and it's a five mile an hour traffic crash with the seat belt on. Most people People, when they say, hell, oh, it's just a five mile an hour traffic crash, kind of like being in a parking lot wreck, mm -hmm. um, they say oh, that's no big deal. But what they find out, and you're going to find out, is that at five miles an hour, it's a pretty significant traffic crash, pretty significant jolt at the end. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and step okay. on in. Okay, we've got her all buckled up. Ella, are you ready? Yes. Don't tell me when you're going to let it go. Okay. Just, just hang go. on. Okay. Pretty significant crash, as you can see, at five miles an hour. That was just five miles. That's five miles an hour. They say at three... at. Uh, 30 miles an hour, which would be just like driving around Kirksville or any other town. Uh, if you're in a traffic crash and don't have your seat belt on, uh, you're thrown into the dash, the steering wheel, or the yeah. windshield, just like you're dropped off of a three-story building. So it's a pretty significant uh, cr crash, and right. and and result. You know, when you're talking about traffic crashes, you're looking at uh, the impact, the car, Im the impact with whatever it strikes, mm -hmm. and then the the human body that's inside there. Yeah. So. Cars are designed to, to be safe, right. uh, however, we've got to buckle up on every ride. Right. And like you just said, that this was five miles per hour, and the impact that I felt, I mean, that was pretty strong on it, my chest. It, it is pretty, belts. obviously, and, and think about what would have happened if you didn't have your yeah. seat belt on. So the, the primary purpose of a seat belt is to hold you in the safest location of that vehicle that you can be by engineering, uh, and that's in your vehicle seat. And I know a lot of people complain that it is uh, very uncomfortable to put on. They don't like the strap of the seatbelt and stuff, or it takes too long to strap in, but it literally takes less than three seconds and it can save your life. Three seconds. And you know, obviously, wearing a seatbelt is nothing more than just a habit. Uh, I wear a seatbelt and I, I don't even recognize that I have it on. Many times I will check and I've had it on the, the entire ride. So just getting into that habit, buckling up, uh, is one of the best gifts that you can give your family. And you will also be out at our Safety Day event today with our Just Drive campaign at Love Greens from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And you'll be showing demonstrations with the seatbelt convincer as well as the crash simulator, correct? Well, we'll just have, we'll just okay. have the convincer, okay. uh, but we're going to invite as many people to want to ride this uh, to come on out and, right. and uh, take part in it. And hopefully it will change their mind if they don't wear a seatbelt that they'll finally buckle in. Absolutely. That's right. what we're gearing for. All right. Well, thank you so much, Sergeant Bernard. Thank you very much, Ella. And what we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com. And if you're a school interested in having this demonstration at school, we'll link up the information so you can contact Bernhardt. That'd be great. All right.